Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you'll see, Half a Dozen Days of Christmas 3 has been retconned as a bonus map. The one that I hated the most is now considered a bonus map, and the real one, the new one, from yesterday is this one, which you're going to play now. And I don't know when Day 2 is going to come out, but it's supposedly going to come out soon, eventually. So let's read the description. Why is it snowing indoors? Well, according to one of my friends who was trying to get into Oxford, they made it rain in Dubai with machines, so making it snow inside isn't that far-fetched. Map made by Clock, creative input by Dark Bomber. I know about the football holder bug, this mod will fix it, but I'm working on a patch for anyone that doesn't want to download it. Well, I don't want to download it, I'm just gonna try and do what I can with the map without the, the mod. So hopefully, we can still complete the level. Okay, so that's what the issue is right there. So there's- there's the football holders. At least they actually show up as error and they aren't just invisible, which is nice. We have a screen here, which is showing us a companion cube being fizzled over and over again, apparently. It looks like a turret up there. Well, let's see if we can deal with that first. Ooh, dear. How would we deal with that guy? I guess we need a laser up there, like this one. Yeah, that works. There's also this fizzling over and over again. What- what can I do to stop you from doing that? A whole bunch of stuff everywhere here. Looks like we have another one of these... things, but instead of- instead of using a funnel... You use... I mean, sorry, instead of just having the guy walk you, it's like you need to use a funnel. Or not, because... Maybe there's- Oh, this is glass! Alright, I didn't notice that. Is that the first thing we need to do? Oh dear, that was like the first thing we need to do. Yeah, so we can't do anything unless we, we do that first. Alright. We just have to listen to stuff kill itself over and over again. I would have preferred it if instead they had put that dropper on a button and then just made it not automatically respawn. So that way it would uh, spawn wherever you press the button, but it wouldn't com constantly make this noise like that. Alright, so, this guy, we want- we want you to walk. Let's save. You were just gonna walk forward for a little while. Come on, you know you wanna. Let's see. This is gonna turn off in any second now. There we go, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, thank you. And that lets us get out. Alright, so portal there, portal here. Oh, and apparently it fizzles at the end. Oh yeah, it looks like it drops off into goo. Alright. So now we have this thing no longer constantly respawning. What does this do for us? That's only one part of the problem. Oh yeah, we haven't gone up there yet. So let's probably do that first. Let's see, save. And let's jump through here. Oop, come on. There we go. That's how you jump through a portal with a laser. Press the button. Then come back down, and yep, that button goes to the door like I thought, and we can do this. Also... Hey! <laughs> Apparently it works with doors too. Who knew? Deathwish probably knew. Alright, let's see. We have a long fall. And this is... ...from one of the screenshots that they uploaded. Where was that screenshot that I saw? I don't remember, but they- they have a- they posted a screenshot of this map at some point. So let's see, we have gotta do things Portal 1 style. And... Look at that, you can portal bump there as well. <laughs> that needs some fixing. If you're gonna take in the hammer, you might as well fix the portal bumping while you're at it. Let's see here... Alright, whatever. Okay, so now we're up here, we can press this button. And then that opens the door, I'm assuming? Alright, so this door is open. Get off of there. Ah yes, now we just need the, the football. Oops, come on. Gimme. Thank you. And this goes there. Alright. Well. It was better than the old version, but it's still, in my opinion, 
not very good. It's still walking around pushing buttons. The map is still kind of got issues like the portal bumping. And uh let's see what else. I think the lighting is okay. It could do with being a bit brighter, like maybe add another light there and maybe light here. It could be a little bit brighter. And this part, <laughs> I'm so worried about dying in that part. Yeah, I think that's all the, the comments I have for now. Hugo Hugo might give you more criticism if he's feeling up to it, but other than that, that's all I have to say. Oh yeah, the companion cube, wait a sec. Where would that be located? Let me guess, now that we've put the football in there, that's activated something? Here? Seems like the answer is no. Alright. Sounds very, very close to, uh... Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Sounds close like it's in this... the wall here. Where might we look for it? Might it be up here at all? No. What am I... what the... what am I walking on? Huh? <laughs> That's weird. I don't see... anywhere in specific that looks like it might be hiding an optional companion cube. No. Where is it? Why are you showing it to me if I can't actually access it? There's gotta be a way. Maybe if I activate the laser relay again. Is there a way to have... Can I be in here and have that... the thing up there be activated? I think I can. Huh. I don't know. I don't see a good way. It's not, not there at all. Yep, I don't know. I don't know how to get the companion cube. It's not done. There's nothing done here. Nothing down here. Whoa, my portal's glowing? I don't remember enabling that, but maybe I did, I don't know. Alright, let's get out of here. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!